Imagine looking up at the night sky and seeing a group of stars that you have never seen before. You are curious and fascinated by them, and you decide to take a picture of them with your camera. The next day, you look at the sky again, but the stars are gone. You check your picture, but the stars are not there either. You wonder if you were dreaming or if you saw something that no one else did. What happened to the stars? Where did they go? And why did they disappear? This is not a fictional scenario, but a real one that happened in 1952, when a group of three stars vanished from the sky within an hour. They were part of a cluster called NGC 6649 in the constellation of Aquila, and they were visible to the naked eye. This phenomenon was discovered by a team of researchers who published their study in the monthly notices of the Royal Astronomical Society. In this video, we will explore this cosmic mystery and try to find out the possible causes and consequences of the vanished stars. We will also discuss the implications for our understanding of the universe and the nature of dark matter. This is a rare and intriguing example of a cosmic mystery that challenges our current knowledge and assumptions and opens up new avenues for research and discovery. So stay tuned and let's dive into the story of the vanished stars. How did the researchers find out that the stars vanished from the sky? And how did they measure their properties before and after their disappearance? To answer these questions, the researchers used a combination of data sources and methods from different eras and technologies. They used archival photographic plates from the Palomar Observatory Sky Survey, the Digitized Sky Survey, and the Gaia Data Release 2, as well as modern observations from the Sloan Digital Sky Survey and the PanSTARRS-1 survey. These data sources spanned from 1950 to 2019, covering almost 70 years of astronomical history. Researchers used image processing techniques to identify and measure the brightness, position, and motion of the stars before and after their disappearance. They used photometric calibration to convert the pixel values of the images into magnitudes, which are units of brightness. Then they used astrometric correction to adjust the coordinates of the images to account for the Earth's rotation and orbit. And after that, a proper motion estimation was needed to calculate the angular displacement and velocity of the stars over time. The results of the data analysis were astonishing. The researchers confirmed that the stars were indeed missing from the sky and that they had no detectable counterparts in modern surveys. They also estimated the magnitude and duration of the brightness change and the angular separation and relative velocity of the stars. They found that the stars had a magnitude of about 10, which means that they were about 100 times fainter than the faintest stars that we can see with our eyes. They also found that the stars vanished within an hour, which is extremely fast for a stellar phenomenon. Another interesting thing they found was that the stars were separated by about 0.5 arc minutes, which is equivalent to the size of a full moon and they found that the stars had a relative velocity of about 20 kilometers per s, which is about 40 times faster than the speed of sound. These findings raised a lot of questions and puzzles. What could cause such a rapid and dramatic change in the brightness and position of the stars? And why did the stars disappear without leaving any trace or clue? To answer these questions, the researchers explored some possible explanations for the vanished stars. So what are the possible explanations for the vanished stars? The researchers considered four scenarios. Gravitational lensing by an intervening massive object. Occultation by an Oort cloud object. Radioactive contamination of the photographic plates. And intrinsic variability of the stars. Let's take a look at each of these scenarios and see how they fit with the evidence and the theory. Gravitational lensing is a phenomenon where the gravity of a massive object bends the light of a distant source, creating multiple images or magnifying the source. Could this explain the vanished stars? The researchers ruled out this scenario as unlikely because it would require a very massive and dense object, such as a black hole, to be located very close to the Earth and to move very fast across the sky. Such an object would have other observable effects, such as gravitational waves or microlensing events, which were not detected. 
Occultation is a phenomenon where an object blocks the light of a distant source, creating a shadow or a dimming effect. However, researchers found no convincing evidence for this scenario because it would require a very large and dark object, such as a planet or a comet, to be located in the outer solar system and to move very fast across the sky. Such an object would have other observable effects, such as reflected light or orbital perturbations, which were not detected. Radioactive contamination is a phenomenon where the radioactive decay of a substance alters the chemical or physical properties of a material, creating noise or artifacts. Could this explain the vanished stars? The researchers also ruled out this scenario as unlikely because it would require a very high and localized dose of radiation, such as a nuclear bomb, to affect the photographic plates and to create the same pattern of stars on multiple plates. Such a dose of radiation would have other observable effects, such as health hazards or environmental damage, which were not detected. Finally, intrinsic variability is a phenomenon where the brightness of a star changes due to its own physical processes, such as pulsation, rotation, or eruption. Unfortunately, researchers also found no convincing evidence for this scenario because it would require a very rare and extreme type of variability, such as a supernova, a nova, or a flare, to cause the stars to vanish within an hour. Such a type of variability would have other observable effects, such as spectral changes or remnants, which were not detected. None of these scenarios can fully account for the observed phenomenon, and the vanished stars remain a mystery. But what if the mystery is not in the stars, but in dark matter? The researchers suggested that the phenomenon could be related to some unknown form of dark matter, which is the mysterious substance that makes up most of the mass of the universe, but does not interact with light or ordinary matter. Some of the possible candidates for dark matter are primordial black holes, axion stars, or fuzzy dark matter. These are exotic objects that could have formed in the early stages of the universe, and that could have some unusual properties such as quantum effects, gravitational interactions, or self-annihilation. But could these objects really explain the vanished stars? The researchers speculated that the stars could have been lensed, occulted, or destroyed by these objects, creating the phenomenon that we observed. However, they also acknowledge that these scenarios are highly speculative and uncertain, and that they face many challenges and limitations, such as the required mass, size, density, and abundance of these objects, or the expected frequency and duration of the phenomenon. They also pointed out that these scenarios are not mutually exclusive and that there could be a combination of factors involved. The researchers concluded that the vanished stars are a rare and intriguing example of a cosmic mystery that challenges our current knowledge and assumptions, and that opens up new avenues for research and discovery. They propose to search for more cases of vanished stars in other clusters and regions of the sky, to perform more detailed simulations and calculations of the possible scenarios, and to conduct more observations with higher resolution and sensitivity using current and upcoming telescopes and instruments. They also invited other researchers and enthusiasts to join them in their quest to solve the mystery of the vanished stars. We hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new and interesting. If you did, please give us a like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And don't forget to leave us a comment below and tell us what you think about the vanished stars. Do you have any ideas or theories about what happened to them? Do you know of any other cases of vanished stars or similar phenomena? We would love to hear from you and discuss with you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.